real hot outside. <laughs> I was working on some things and, and heat just got to me a little too much. So I thought maybe I'd come inside the cooler cabin and do a little music and stuff. Um, a pretty wonderful thing happened um, this last week. Uh, it took a little while to give permission, but I did allow a couple of folks, a husband and wife, to come and stay with me in their um, fully contained camper. I was not expecting anything. I, I just knew that it was very important that they came and that I listened and paid attention. Um, it turned out that her husband, Larry, uh, is a very good carpenter, handyman, whatever, and he went to work on my bathroom. So I almost have 100% of a shower. It's, it's just that far from, you know, they ran out of time. And that's okay because it's a whole lot closer than I had it a week ago. Trust me. <laughs> and she came bringing words of love and encouragement. She wanted to tell me good things about myself. I can see good in everybody. I can see a reason to understand and find a way to love everybody. First of all, it may be the first maybe real love they've ever had. so they know that they're not forgotten or left out or unaccepted. Like I said, there's, a, there's an original plan, kind of, for all of us. It takes us a while sometimes to find it again. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I think because of our nature, in some ways we have to be poked and in some ways we have to be held, and in some ways we just have to be encouraged. I encourage. <laughs> Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Anyway, uh, they stayed during that time and, and were so very kind, very sweet. Uh, we came up to the last day, which was Sunday, and it was the last day on the fishing license that had been bought for Wyoming and somebody's birthday. So we celebrated best we could. We went fishing and out into the back country and looked around. And I'm so pleased that Shane felt he could do that. He's very generous and kind to me. And he will always be a dear friend for me. Anyway, um, if there's anything to talk about specifically this week, Perhaps it would be second chances, or third chances, or, oh my goodness, twelfth chances. <laughs> How do we do that? It's called unconditional love. It's the hardest thing to feel when someone has just pulled out in front of you in your lane and, and is going slow and now they're going to turn left. <laughs> Hard to find unconditional love, you know, when those things happen. Or you buy something, you take it home, and it breaks in a couple of days because it wasn't that well made. <laughs> those kind of things can be irritating in life. But unconditional love, as we have spoken before, doesn't mean that you condone what they do. It means that you love them, even if from a distance. Sometimes unconditional love will change a life. I watched it happen over a period of time. Someone who was pretty self-contained and alone in their own world and had never felt that before, so didn't know what it was. And when it came, it was very disarming and fearful at first. You know, like a like a biting dog. You know, someone who fear bites, fear bites. 
humans are kind of like that too. But an unconditional love with a little wisdom, kind of like training a horse. Um, can touch a person slowly, gently. Doesn't have to be all at once like a bucket of cold water. <laughs> I've had that, by the way. <laughs> At that moment, it worked, yeah. But it's not every, it's not every time. I just ask that we change in small ways. And when the small way rewards us, which it will, uh, maybe change a little more. Maybe, maybe see that light. See that light in all that darkness. Sometimes it's just a plank correct. Oh my goodness. You have to really search for that. But I think I can guarantee you that it's there. There is a little tiny spark of something magnificent waiting for you to find it and go that way. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, have this moment and tell y'all that I love you very much. Uh, and thank you still for all the kindness, all the, the beautiful, beautiful uh, letters and the support, everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you next time. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. That's all I